Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're at my Stampin' Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page on Facebook or you're on my YouTube channel. I had a heck of a time coming up with an idea for today. I searched Pinterest for all kinds of ideas and I came across this one that I don't even think it has a name. This is the only card I seen that looked like this ever and it's cool. So I basically called it um, a double leg diesel. Now, figure that one out. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea. If you can come up with a good name for it, I'd be thrilled because the gal who's, who made it didn't have a name for it. And she's the, that's the only card I've seen. So I will flip this over and we'll get started. Find the right button here. Okay. Get down here. Okay, I am using... This stamp set from Art Impressions, Let the Bells Ring. This is so cute. It is cute. So I am using that. So I'm also using this new paper pack from uh, Fun Stampers Journey uh, Spellbinders. These papers are very shiny. They're, they got a great sheen to them. They're not connected. It's just a pack of paper. It's not a pad, per se, but a pack. These are so cool. I liked them so much I bought two pads. Two packs, I should say. So I'm using a lot of others, but this is what I'm starting with. So I'm making a I cut a base four and a quarter by eleven and I scored it two and three quarter and five and a half. So this is what you get. And then there's a cover that's three and a half by nine and it's scored at four and a half basically making a half cut doing it in half so I will set that aside so you have these two pieces this is going to attach to here so I will get it get my adhesive put on it I've got my trusty ATG I'm almost tempted to decorate this thing but I've had it over 15 years <laughs> so what you want to do basically is just kind of stick it right in the center of that back panel. Can you see that? Ah, that's close enough. So it goes right there just like that. Real easy. So that's that. I'm having trouble seeing here. I need to adjust a little bit more. So that's the base. So I'm going to show you real quick what I did yesterday. This is the one I started with. This is it. Here's the easel part. These are the two legs. I don't know what else to call it, but I made this card. It says happy anniversary because our oldest, my husband's oldest son and his wife are having an anniversary. So I know this looks a lot like a birthday card. But you can have a cupcake for your anniversary. So I just made that. This little guy was cut out of this paper. I added Wink Estella on there on the word happy. And I added Wink Estella on the top of the cupcake. This will be on my Stampin' Carol tomorrow with pictures showing how I assembled it if you don't want to watch this video. But anyway, so there's that. So this was real easy. So from here you start decorating. So here is my snowman with the wiggle butt. And that's what I called him. I did a class on this last month, or in July. I called it the wiggle butt Santa, or snowman. Isn't that cute? I got, uh, it's from Art Impressions. So are the little wobbles. And this is going to be on my cover. Now I used... Um, Spellbinders Fancy Edged Rectangles. I use that quite a bit on this card. So I'll move that aside. Um, <clears throat> I also use <coughs> excuse me, some other dies. I use Circle Around Dice Set and Journey Circles to do another part. I'll set that aside. I also used this neat stamp set from Fun Stampers Journey, Clear Stamps, Holiday Sentiment Stacks. This is new. 
this is really cool. And you can put these together in different ways, and I have. You can sort them. Whoa, don't want to bump that. So I will um, put this together. Now, the card I'd seen on Pinterest, when you opened it up, she had a little envelope here that you could slide a gift card into. Not only did she decorate here, but she decorated here. So there, there's all kinds of options. So we'll start assembling this and uh, get going. So I hope you're having a good day today. Um, I have gotten laundry done, folded, not quite put away yet, but it's ready. I've got to stand up to see where I'm looking here. I can't quite see. And isn't this paper wild? I am not, I do not use these, this bright of color paper, but this is called Electric Line from uh, Fun Stampers Journey CS-0123. And I don't have very much of it. Like I said, it's not one of my favorite colors, but if you look in the background, it pretty much matches that. I thought that was fun. So now I got my wiggle butt. I'm going to pick this up. And I need to put a piece of paper here. So this is, I don't know, can you see that sheen? Yeah, there you can see the sheen. It is so cool. So cool. And if you're interested in it, if you're on my Facebook page, you click the Shop Now button and look for Holly Jolly Prints. Or if you're on my Stamp and Carol site, click on the the uh, Spellbinders Fun Stampers Journey link in the sidebar. And again, search for Holly Jolly Prints. It is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think this is one of my most favorite paper packs they've come out with. It is just great. So there's that. Okay. So I have my sentiment. So here you can see wishing you peace and joy. And I use three different stamps, three different inks, pulling the inks, the colors, mostly from this piece here. So this is going to go inside. I'm getting close to done. This, of course, you know, it doesn't take me long to do a video when I do so much in, ad <laughs> in advance. <laughs> but, you know, you don't need to sit there and watch me cut things out and color and everything else. That's just like sitting and watching paint dry. And I used to paint houses and it's just not, not necessary. I'm going to stick that right there. So then you wonder, how am I going to get this on here? Well, that's what this is for. And I learned by making my first one to be careful how, where I set this. Now, if you look on this one, bring it up. I had to make sure that this did not slide into that too far so that you would hide the word. So I had to be careful. This one, I don't have that as much trouble, but I'm going to pop it. So I'll just pop it. I'm only going to pop about just a little over half. Can you see that? So cut these down to fit. I'll save this little piece for later. And I'll get this on there. This is just such an easy card. Next week, I might end up doing some techniques. I do have a dental appointment right before, the day before my appointment. Now, I want to get this centered, and I'm going to actually use my, my grid down here. So I'm going to go off a little bit the screen so I can use my grid paper here or my grid panel make sure I get that centered okay so there it's centered and this will just come up and ta-da isn't that cool that is so cool now when I send this I'll probably have to print a picture of how it works so that the <laughs> whoever receives it knows so and then you know you got a great place here to put your message on the back. Now on this card, I actually left room down here on the inside. So, but that is it. That is my card. And I think it's just, 
I think it's just too cool. So I really don't know a name. If you, like I said, if you can come up with a name uh, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, uh, this card will be posted Friday. My blue one posts tomorrow. Um, I would appreciate it. So I'm going to flip you back over here. There we go. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're trying some of these ideas. Uh, can't seem to keep the hair out of my eyes. I trimmed my bangs, but then, you know, yesterday they were nice and fluffy because I washed my hair yesterday. This morning I didn't, and it just goes flat, and it's in your eyes, and it's like, ugh. ugh. Anyway, <laughs> so I hope you are trying some of my ideas. Uh, if you do, let me know, and um, it, you can always, I'd love to have a picture posted in the comments under my video if you've made something using using my video or something so anyway i hope you have a wonderful day i have lots i need to do i have to make i joined a bunch of other ex-angels you know when i was in the angel company i was in it for nine years it closed in 2011 uh august september of 2011 um i was in it for nine years well one of the ex-angels found me and uh there's four, five of us total now. We're doing a index card swap. I've never done anything like this before. And uh, she's really good. Melissa's really good on uh, mixed media. I am really pathetic. <laughs> but uh, we're doing a swap. Um, I did get my anniversary card done for the kids this weekend. I'll get it mailed tomorrow. Uh, I have to make a birthday card for our pastor. He, we're having a birthday party for him Saturday. And I have 25 Christmas tags to make. Well, maybe just 20. But I need to clear off in front of my scan and cut to have it cut my tag basis. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. So anyway, I've got lots I need to get done. I also have to decorate a little animal cracker box for our grandson for Halloween. So <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Yeah, my husband went into town this morning to get some parts for some uh, equipment he's working on. And I told him, bring me home a Dr. Pepper. So, <laughs> so I hope, again, have a great day. God bless you. And thank you for stopping by. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye-bye.